All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Moto Aftermath Show Fantasy Supercross Show. This is the most uninformed fantasy Supercross podcast out there because we are uninformed and idiots. But hey, we do all right sometimes. So uh, before we get started, just want to thank our sponsors. So first off, we are presented by Energy Fuel, the best fucking drink out there. Keep yourself fueled, energized, and strong from start to finish. Pick your Energy Fuel up at CoachRobStore.com. Uh, we are still waiting on our samples, and then we will be using said energy fuel also want to thank premier custom trailers if you need a trailer commercial or residential premier custom trailers has what you need they work with the best manufacturers in the industry and specialize in all your trailer needs sales service parts or rentals they do it all premier custom trailers.com located five minutes south of kalamazoo on us 131 in schoolcraft michigan they put the custom in customer service they sell super nice trailers they do really nice work i have one it's awesome you can check it out in the uh, moto vlogs uh, that I'll be putting up here soon. I am slowly working my way through video editing everything I filmed in 2021. And it's now 2022. I know I'm behind. Whatever. Get over it. Anyway, also want to thank longtime sponsor of the show, TLR Coatings, Michigan's number one custom powder coating shop. Check them out at TLR Coatings on all the major social media networks, including TikTok. Um, and then we've got a bunch of other show sponsors here. So, uh, alias sport, you can check them out at aliasport.com, the dirt bike depot, the dirt dash bike depot.com. You can save 10% off with the code T mass 10. That's T M A S 10, uh, at the dirt bike depot, JT cycle, check them out at jtcycle.com adept creative co for all your custom graphic needs they did the graphics for our crf 450 build that we have the video series up uh you can get 30 percent off with code aftermath 21 at adeptmx.com i uh, want to thank gutterworks at gutterworksgutters.com want to thank uh, our logo designer isaac nelson isaac nelson designs.com and uh, then thank uh, our other media partner, Clutch Media, who should be giving me the Anaheim video. I don't have that. I, ha- I don't have the A1 video yet while we're recording this, but I should see it any time now. So we are here to talk about fantasy, though. Thanks to all our sponsors. We really appreciate it. They're helping us out. They're giving us helping us with some great prizes this year. On the phone with me to wrap up fantasy from A1 and talk about our picks for Oakland, which is round two, I have the original co-host, Justin, on with me. Hey, buddy. How's it going, guys? It's going great. You want to know why? Why? Because I kicked the fuck out of you this week. <sighs> Whatever, man. You can't even argue it because I whooped your Whatever, ass. Whatever, man. And Whatever, bro. Also on the phone with us here, he is super cross only. He is turning out... Some social media content for us. He is the one and only Cole. Hey, Cole. Sup, bitches? I also kicked your ass last week. Uh, Not by as much as Justin, uh, but I kicked your ass also. Oh, boy. It fucking one round. Jesus Christ. That's what I'm saying, dude. Listen to this fucking guy. Dude, Jesus I fucking one shit. round. You guys don't understand. My Supercross superiority is high. And you guys just won't okay. give me fucking credit for hey, it. Hey, where's your national number at, man? I kicked the shit out of you guys in Supercross last year. I kicked the shit out of you in outdoors all summer, so yes, what's your point? Yes, you guys did beat me. Outdoors was a struggle for me, but that was because I won the Supercross title, so I didn't give a fuck about outdoors. Okay, Cooper Webb. Hey, look, a champion's a champion. I'm going to verify this real quick because I don't remember it being that much of an ass kicking. I kicked the shit out of you guys. Look, doesn't matter if you win well, by I know you kicked the shit mile. out of me. I, don't, I have no idea what Cole, 36, Cole or you guys have. You won by 100 points. Whoa. 100 <laughs> points is a lot. Considering uh, consi- literally two rounds of just getting nobody in the main. Considering like a perfect score is what? Somewhere like 300, 315 points. Something like that. So like, dude, that's 100 points is a lot. Your average was 222. My average was 215. Yep. Like I said, kick the shit out of you guys. So I wouldn't say ass kicking, but yes, you did beat me. I whooped the shit out of you guys. Oh my god! I am a super cross god. Worship me, dude. Until you finish like top five in 
everybody after a round, I wouldn't go that far, bud. I'm working on it. Hey, you're, you'll never be a super trust guy because you picked Logan Carnell in the fucking 450 class one <laughs> when he was riding a 250. <laughs> and he almost made the main. <laughs> he got like fifth in the LCQ, so it wasn't a terrible pick. God. Anyway. Oh. Carnell and Carne Asada, all right? Oh, my God. All Whatever. right. So let's get to talking here. So for anybody who doesn't know, we play uh, Fantasy Supercross on PulpamexFantasy.com. Uh, so if you go there, you can create a username, a.k.a. your team, um, and then you can go join our league, which is Moto Aftermath Show. After you join the league, make sure to go on Instagram, give us a follow, and then DM us your information so we have it. And then if you do win a weekly prize or finish in the top three for the series and win one of those prizes, make sure to DM us after that uh, so that we have your information and we can get your prize out to it to you. Now, uh, for our season-ending prizes for the top three, uh, first place, we have a awesome number one plate, uh, which says uh, Super Fantasy Supercross Champ on it. It's got the gold number one. It's got the red background. It's got the Moto Aftermath Show logo on the bottom of it. It is fucking sweet. It can hang on your wall. I am looking forward to having it hang on my wall because, let's face it, I'm winning this series. And when I win this series, I am keeping the plate. Just an FYI for everyone. Now, uh, however, the prizes I am not in the running for that we will be giving away to you guys. Uh, first place, or runner-up to me, however you want to put it, uh, will be a signed Kevin Moran's jersey. Second place is going to be a signed Scott Meshi jersey. And third place is going to be a $100 Dirt Bike Depot gift card. So we do got some good prizes. We'll get out some t-shirts and stuff too, probably to fourth and fifth place. Uh, but top three prizes are pretty sweet this year. Now, on top of that, we are doing weekly prizes. Um, I have a whole box of gloves and other little things like that that I can throw in, as well as we are doing an Alias Sport prize pack, uh, which includes some CBD, chill oil, uh, some pain balm. Uh, we've got some sweet Kevin Moran's Moto Aftermath Show uh, collab stickers that are in there. Um, so those are given away on the weekly prizes. Our winner for the league... For round one at Anaheim one is NDMA eight with 281 points. So that doesn't sound like Travis riding hour. That's not me. I did not. Hey, look, yeah. look, we are, we are like fucking the diesel dungy. Okay. We just podium okay. the shit out of everyone. Okay. Or in this case, this fucking guy, we get, guy. Oh my God. we get in the top, hey, Cooper Webb. we get in the top 14. All right. Uh, but anyway, no, ND, NDMA8, congratulations. Uh, make sure, if that is you, to DM us on Instagram and uh, send us your information, and we will get you your prize out in the mail here in the next week or two, so that way you uh, get it, your Alias Sport prize pack. So thanks, everyone, for playing. Now, getting into our scores here, I will start, since I was the big winner-winner chicken dinner out of the three of us, uh, I will go over my team here. Let me just click that up. Oh boy. Here we go. All right. So for Anaheim one, I scored a grand total of 232 points with only seven players. So mind you, I whooped your guys' ass with seven dudes. Okay. Nobody's got to come back for that either. I know it's hard. I had seven dudes as well. well so that's I had fucking irrelevant. Okay. So yeah, I had, I had seven dudes as well, so I don't want to hear it. All right. So everybody had seven dudes. Great. All right. So anyway, uh, in the 250 class, I had Vince Freeze with 36 points. I had Robbie Wageman with a solid 52. Uh, we all know what happened to Jalik, so that was a big zero for me. And then uh, I had the one and only Sushi, a.k.a. Joe Shimoda, who got stuck in the gate and still came back to get me 18 points. Then in 450s, I had uh, podium contender Justin Barsha with 26. I had Chase Sexton, who couldn't stay off the fucking ground, with 30. I had the marvelous Marvin Muskin with 36 points. And I rounded out with the Brit, Max Anstey, with 34 points for, again, a total of 232 points. And I was 1,577th overall. Justin, would you like to go since you were the loser of the week? Sure, bud. Uh, I had 182 points in 250s. I had Seth Hamaker for max up points of 26. 
I also had Vince Freeze with 36 points. I had Derek Kelly with 12, and I also had Jaleek Swole with zero. Four uh, fifties. I had Dylan Ferrandez with 12. I also had Marvin Muskan with 36. I also had the Brit Max Anstey with 34, and I had Justin Brayton with 26. How is that Dylan Ferrandez championship coming there, bud? Are we going to talk about this every week, or can yes. we actually talk about stuff that's worth talking about? No, 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 no. It was no. just it was just the first it was just the first round. If he comes back and wins this week, I don't want to hear dick from either one of you. Okay, well, like literally, you can't even you can't even talk to me about Dylan Ferrandez if he wins this week. Okay, if he win if he wins this week, I will not talk shit for a whole week. No, I mean you can't even talk about like you can't even Ferrandez. It's Ferrandez. You can't even say his name. Like you can't even you can't even like think about him. I will I will not talk shit about him to you for a whole week. Okay. Cool. Okay. Anyways, Cole. Cole, go ahead, bud. How'd you do, man? Um, I got two twelve, which I'll take. Not great, but again, it's a long series. I win that outdoors. So I uh. Michael Moseman, I was pretty high on him after the heat race, but then he, uh, this is who he is. <laughs> um, he got me yeah. 21, which, I mean, you should be able to take that. Yeah. Um, Vince Freezy, 36 points. Um, knew he was going to get a good start. Robbie Wageman with the, the standout ride got 52 points. Um, and then Barrett Kelly with 12 points, which, I mean, that's points across the board. I'll take that, knowing that a lot of people, Got burnt with Jalik and Carson Brown. Yep. Uh, this is where it went sideways for me. So, uh, 450 class, uh, Jason Anderson only got me 19. But, again, I think you can take a little bit with an all-star and lose four or five points and still be fine. Um, Max Anstey, 34, so good team there. And then I went with Mitchell Oldenburg. I was like, there's no way he doesn't make the main. And he went in right through the heat, 38 points there. Better than I Chief, Chief Luke. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. Boo. I figured there's no way in hell he doesn't make the main and he'll get at least 18 because he's way faster than Clayson or any of those guys. And he figured uh, out a way not to make the main. The LCQ. So, uh, I, thought for a brief second, I thought for a brief second he was going to make it. And then I was like, fuck, what if he stalls it in the whoops? He's got a kick start the bike and... <laughs> oh man, it just wasn't good. So, yeah, Chief Luke, I still love you. They'll make it in this week. It's fine. So, yeah, and he's right on my screen, so that's it. With a higher yeah. handicap. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yep. Andy's got some, so we'll get into it a little bit. But I think he's got a little uh, extra motivation. So. Yep. Oh, so I'm curious to hear this. I don't know anything about that. All right. So good. Yeah, scene. it's kind of a wah 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 kind of thing. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. All right. So good season Go opener, boys. Uh, really like your guys' attempt, but again, my dominance is just uh, superior in every way possible right now. So I hope like I hope like four of your dudes don't make it in this week, and they all fucking just grenade motors in the pits, and then you can just just shut the fuck up. Look, here's here's the thing. I just got big Listen, dick man, energy. I about appreciate Supercross. your confidence, bro, dude. I got I appreciate. Your confidence. I got big dick energy <laughs> about Supercross. Okay, like. Motocross. Oh God! Here we go. When we get to One outdoor, year. when we get yeah. to outdoor fantasy, like yeah, I'm gonna be like, oh man, this is a little tougher for me. But indoors, yeah, you know me and Cole smack you around outdoors. Indoors, I'm all over you, fucks like web on rocks and dude. Like I have your number. Okay, well, let's, it, let's hear these. Uh, let's hear these money back picks. All right. So for round two, Oakland. We haven't been there since uh, what was it? 2020. Did we go in 2020? Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. when we went. Was that the year I went? Or did I go in 19? I don't remember what year I went there. I must have gone in 19 because uh, that was the year Coop won yeah. the title, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I must have been there in 19. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, we, uh, w- one of the few stops on the, uh, <laughs> the circuit that I don't recommend going to. Uh, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, starting with the 250 class, I have... Uh, I'm going to say this name wrong and you guys are going to make fun of me. Uh, Caden Amarine, 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 right? Caden Amarine, Amarine, Caden Amarine. Yes, please pick him. Well, I got him on my list right now, but he could be yeah, clippy. Yeah, please pick cl- him. Break he, your keyboard. What the he, fuck? He, he could be clippy clippy. At an 11? Yeah. Jesus. That's a terrible pick, but anyway, okay. Yeah, pick him. Pick that's him. A, Go that's ahead, a pick fucking him. great pick, all yeah, right? Yeah, pick him. 
Says the, Go ahead, pick him. Says the fucking loser that scored 182 points. I no, I just know all about. Kay, I just know. I just know all about Caden Amarine, so that's why I'm saying pick him. Yeah, dude, you'll do great. Bro, he's Team Tedder. We're good. Yeah, I don't give a damn. I literally just watched a video of him like 30 minutes ago at Fox Raceway, and he looked like Dog Dookie. Like Preston Base Luke was faster than him. And he's oh. a fucking A rider. Was he in that Racer X video? I haven't watched that yet. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, um, I got Hunter. Lo- uh, uh, he's on my team right now. Okay, you don't have to talk me into it. He's on my team. He made the main. All right. Yeah, he got twentieth too. Yeah, that's fine. If he gets twentieth this week, that's double points. I'm good. So the fact that he got twenty. Never mind. Go ahead. Anyway. Anyway, we're it's a building year for him. Okay, we're building. He's okay. just He's just gonna okay. get better. He might get like sixteenth okay. this week. Who knows? <laughs> then I'm gonna okay. look real fucking smart, and then he might not even qualify for the main. Well, too. that could be a thing too. You know, sometimes we gotta take some chances. And look, I haven't broke my keyboard on that one yet. Okay. However, my next pick. pick Walsh while you're at it. What was the second pick? I missed it. My next pick is Hunter Lawrence as my all star at a two. Okay, that's he, better. He's he's on the box. Like him, Schmoda, and, yeah. and uh, Craig are the are the field, and he's got. The biggest handicap, and he didn't hit the gate last week, so I'm just going to go with that. Uh, then I've got um, Carson Mumford at a four. I mean, I felt like he rode pretty good last week. He seems to be roughly a top ten guy, we'll call it, in this coast, especially with Swole and Colt going out. So at a four, that gives me a little bit of wiggle room there. So um, I, like, I'm all right with it. He got a good start in the – was it the Heat, too? They got the good start. Yeah. They hole shot it or whatever. Yep. So, like, that bike's got yeah. some power. So, we'll see. And then, you guys are going to love this one. I got fucking Logan Carnow at a nine oh handicap. Oh, my God. Carnow and Carne Asada, bro. Pick him. Yeah, pick him, bro. Pick him, please. Just pick him. What is wrong with Carnow in the 250 class? Because he. For me. What's his handicap? He was 18th last week. At A1. Yeah, and you know what? Everybody's real high on him because they saw how well he did it last year on whatever coast he was on, whatever the coast Kev was on, and the fact the only reason he did good is because it was completely depleted. Look. I don't think Logan Carr now, like, ever, when there's been a full healthy field, has ever even sniffed, like, a top 10, like, even close. Well, look. But, yeah, go ahead, pick him. Look, I didn't say he could. What's his handicap? He's a nine. Pick him. So he's got to get (laughs) nine. He's got to get 19th or better. I'm just fucking nuts. Just pick him. Just go ahead and pick him. All right. All right, you two. Let's hear your fucking superstar picks here for the 250 class. Cool. Right. I'm going to go because I know I already know Travis is going to talk shit, so let, let me even play him on me real quick. Okay, let's, yeah, right, go. let's hear this. All right, so I got uh, Joe Shimoda. Jesus. I think that's kind of a lot. And you can give or take a little points on the, the handicaps yeah. for uh, all-stars. Yeah. So. Uh, Carson Mumford at a four. Um, he made three mains last year, and he I watched an interview with him. He's like, yeah, I already made one this year, like feeling better. So maybe his head's in a better place with the Millsaps thing. So <laughs> said I needed one round to see, and that looked a lot better. And now with some injuries, uh, you should make it through a heat, I would hope. So mm-hmm. um, uh, I'm going to save this guy real quick. Uh, this guy is like tentative on my team, Carson Brown. I will probably pull him. <laughs> um, I'd be careful with him though, man, because I looked at the Racer X injury report and like he's he's pretty banged up. Like he's in for this weekend, but he's pretty banged up. So yeah, that tentative yeah, thing, that's like why, yeah. Well, that's Did, why I said he's on my team, but I will probably pull him and put a guy like Hey, this ain't a pit bike race, bro. Actually, you know, I'm pulling him right now. I'm oh. pulling him right now. <laughs> that took two seconds pure, to convince you. Pure pressure. <laughs> it's I a know, bitch. I, I'm I'm pulling him and I'm gonna put uh what, what's Mitch got going on? Can, can, is Mitch at a four good, or we got Dylan? Schwartz I think so. Five? He was out. I think so. He was I, out I, hammering I, whoops all week. I saw that on Instagram. I, I think yeah, Mitch. I saw that Fender about to fucking fall off too. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mitch at a four. I think Mitch is a, at a four at a, good, at a good pick. I think so. Okay, I'm gonna watch him. How's his equipment, Mister Whisper? Oh, it's definitely better than like the fucking year he was on the nuclear blast team. That, no, in all in all serious, that that team is is pretty legit. I mean, obviously the bike itself is good. Um, 
I, I haven't heard any complaints from him. Like he, he likes the bike. So, okay. So I just put him on my team and if he bones me again, I'm lighting that Jersey in on fire. Sick. Well, dude, even if he like in a four handicap, he got 13th last round and you could clearly tell that like, that's the biggest thing. Like I said, in the first show is his cardio is just not up to par. I mean, you can spend half the summer. Whoa. 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 Time out here. What? Time out. What? Okay. He well, get... whatever I got. <laughs> Never mind. Keep going. What were you, no, what were you going to say, Travis? So so he gets 13th with a four handicap, and you're like, oh, it's fine. I pick Kay Namarine, who gets fucking, what was it, 20th with an 11 handicap? Oh, it's a fucking terrible pick. It's fucking because, terrible. Because, Travis, what, what are, what are the... What are, what are, Harrison's way more likely to make the main. I was about to say, what is, when Amarine, is the last time did, you've seen Mitchell? When is the last time you've seen Mitchell not make a supercross main? Look, did Amarine go through... Uh, Orlando last year. Did Amarine go through? Um, uh, yeah, when he got fucking, oh, I don't know, in the first turn pileup that took Jeremy Martin's whole year out? Yeah, sure. No, we'll that one. no. It was the last turn no, fucking whatever. one where Fiberoff beat him in the last corner. Yeah, exactly. Oh, are you talking about the same night that he, are you talking about the same night that he got oh, landed boy, on by here Jordan we go. Smith? Here goes the excuses. No, 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 here no, 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 goes no, 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 the no. excuses. If you're going to start shouting out facts about my boy Mitchell, you tell the whole story, 100, son. 180, whole 182 story. points over here is now throwing out the excuses. You tell the whole story. You tell the whole story. Yeah, he got beat in the last fucking corner of a fucking because LCQ. Because he got landed on by Jordan Smith earlier in the no, night. No, because he Hang took... On, this is off yes. Topic as well. No, because he off went fucking he went topic. fucking wide in that corner. I remember this very clearly because we all sat here because and went, I don't know why he went wide in that corner. And he went wide in the corner and argue. just let Zoobs right by him. But yeah, my pick was a terrible... Because he got landed on early in the night. He, Look, got, he got landed on in the heat race. Did, did Caden make it through the, the heat or did he have to go through the LCQ? I don't remember. I have no idea. I didn't pay attention. He's fucking Caden Amering. Just pick him, please. I mean, I've anyway. got him picked, but anyway, I'm just making a point that like a 13 with here's a 4 handicap, all right. and you're like, oh, Anyways, that's fine, and a fucking here's a, here's 11 an point with a 20 finish. Um, this summer when he was like all bummed about like not being able to race Red Bull and all this stuff, like, yeah, why couldn't he like pony up and find a bike and just race it? Because he he could he could but it was he was trying to prove a point that he didn't want to go out there and kiss ass to get a ride when he deserved a ride after what he did in 2020. So pony up and ride your own fucking bike and go out there and kick. He didn't ass. Ha- he didn't he didn't have a bike after Muckoff took the bike away from him he was literally riding his buddy's bike like a 450 I had a, when he wasn't golfing had a brand and new blue crew he could have borrowed. No, like he could, that's not the point. The point is he could have bought one or the, the that's not the point. He could have bought one. His point is, is he was trying to make a point by not racing outdoors on his own to prove the fact that he got screwed on not getting a ride after 2020 with how well he did at pro circuit. Look, that me, was the point that he was trying to make. Look, me and him need to have a talk I would, about I I would have bought my own bike, went and rode, kicked their asses and proved my point that way. Yeah. Yeah, but we've seen how that doesn't work out and then you just spend like a hundred a couple, you know, $100,000 to go race for nothing. Yeah, not racing doesn't uh, work out well, either. He has 15 grand into a bike and he lives in Michigan. What? One no, no. Oh my god. That was the point. He didn't want he didn't want to go race. He wanted to go race, but he didn't want to go race and spend his own money. Like I said, probably a couple hundred thousand dollars to do the equipment and what he expects and then take a chance of not getting a ride. And then he just wasted all that fucking money. I'm talking just one race. I'm not telling him to do the whole season. Well, yeah, I understand that. But he was also in California when that race was going on. So once again, now you have to get a bike that's worth a damn because once again, Mitchell's not just going to fucking ride any bike there is out there. A bike that's worth a damn, spend all that money to get on a plane ticket spend the money to get into the race, do all this and that, figure out who his mechanic's going to be, and then for one fucking race, just wasn't worth it to him. Bro, the mechanic's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. I definitely would have not done that. Not for uh, one fucking so, race. Here's my last pick. And Travis, I want you to lock your mouth up and throw away the key because I don't want to fucking hear it. Nate Thrasher to one. <laughs> Okay. I like it. Pick I like it. Break, been break the keyboard. Week, good. Pick him. Break yeah, the he keyboard. Was on top ten last week all day. And it would have been ten last week. It would have been good. Break all the right, keyboard. Cool. I like it. I definitely like your picks, Cole, a lot better than Travis with fucking Cade <laughs> Namrig and Logan Carr now. Goddamn, two guys that fucking their chances of making the main is literally fifty fifty every weekend. Hey, break your keyboard um, right now with Thrasher on there. Please, anyways, please break the keyboard. So, uh, Hey, he's going to make the main, and he would have been 10th last week. I didn't see Kate oh, Namorine sniff oh, the top boy. 10. Yeah, Colt Nichols would have won that race, too, but here we are. He, he, well, well, 
Yeah, you don't even have a comeback for that because that was a fucking good point. He got hurt in the heat race. He couldn't make it through the heat race, but you automatically assume he wouldn't have won the main. Hey, that bro. makes real logical sense. Hey, if I'd have started riding a dirt bike when I was four years old, I'd probably be a Supercross champ right now, but here we are, too. So, you know, I mean, we can keep uh, going with the ifs, ands, what's, or about, buts. I don't know about all that. Nico Izzy would beg to differ on that. I mean, I would, I could, dude, I could go all day on the ifs, ands, what's, or buts, you know? So could I. I used to be Kyle Regal. What happened there? Anyways. I don't know what happened. Uh, so, <laughs> you know what? Life happened. Anyway, so my picks, uh, I'm on board with uh, your first two call with Joe. Pick a gate. We know that he's got top three speed. We kind of all assume that he probably would get a win. Uh, I like Joe at four. Um, I also like the Carson Mumford pick that both of you guys picked. That bike is good. I think his starts are going to be on point. So I always think that he's, you know, he's not going to have to worry about running through the trash at the beginning of the race and stuff. Now, where his speed is at the end of the race, who knows about that? Um, but my other two, uh, I'm actually going to go with a guy that I kind of talked shit about in the first round, but he really impressed me um, at A1, and that's uh, Nikkei Theory. Um, got ninth, five handicap. Did he maybe get lucky with a ninth with some of the stuff that happened at the beginning of that main? Maybe. So even if you put him at 11 with a five handicap, I think that's really good points. Um, I just think he can keep building. And once again, we all got to remember last year was his literal first season ever racing actual Supercross. I'm sorry. What did, you say, what, what did you say his name was? Nikkei Theory. It's Dominique. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it's under Nikkei on the fucking thing. Yeah. yeah. What? It says Dominique on the not on the Not on Pulp. When you go on like his uh like his entry list shit, it says Nike. It doesn't say Dominique. Weird. Okay. So, so him and I'm gonna go with Mitchell at a four. I uh, like I said, I would have to see around. What happened happened. His cardio wasn't up to par. At least that's my opinion on what it was. Give him another round so he gets maybe a tenth and just keeps building. And I like it at a four. Just right now with all the other dudes with all the unknowns and like. You know, some of these guys didn't even make the main, like a Thomas Doe. You would have picked him at an eight handicap after the way he rode last year, but I don't even fucking know what happened to an A1 because we didn't see any of it. We didn't see him. You know, Chris Bowles is at a two, but I think with this field, I think the best he can get is an eighth or a ninth. I mean, the only other people I'm looking at right now is Ryan Surratt at a six, but I think 13 to 15 is maybe his high, and then Hunter Saucer. But once again, he didn't even make all the mains last year on uh, the fucking – what was it? West coast or East coast when he was even depleted. So I just, I think right now they're kind of slim pickings with people. So no Dylan, okay. no Dylan Schwartz at a five. Yeah. Any no, man. money ball picks in there? <sighs> Dude, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I mean, Harry man, he made the main. Yeah, but dude, he, he's, he's the same thing though. He's sketching me out like Carson Brown. Like you don't know what you're going to get with that guy. Yeah, that's a lot of anxiety. What about? I mean, like I said, Thomas Thomas Doe would be good, but like I said, he didn't fucking make the main last week. What about Derek Kelly at an eleven? Anybody for that, or everybody's out because I can't. Uh, we can't pick him. We picked him last yeah, week. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. I would look at that. I would definitely look at that if he wasn't red on my screen for sure. What about what about Cole Thompson at a five? He got fourteenth last week. That ain't. I mean, yeah, I'd look at him. He definitely is building as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, if my dumbass would have gone with who I wanted to originally pick in the pre-show with Robbie Wageman, I could have got max points there, but now the motherfucker's an all-star, and that just bums me out. <laughs> yeah, you mm -hmm. fucked that one up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I did, actually. I don't know why I didn't go with my gut on that one. I don't know why the fuck I didn't pick Marvin and I picked Bogle. <laughs> <laughs> as far as all-stars, what, what about Moseman at a four? Because, I mean, he's apparently even well, if I he think crashes... He's I think he could win. I picked him for the win, but Jesus Christ, it's Michael Moseman. <laughs> he, he definitely right. does Michael Moseman things. Um, how about uh, how about the dude with the best name in the pits, Dylan Woodcack? <laughs> no, I'm out. Because uh, <laughs> that's hard to swallow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just really like saying his name. It's gonna be a tough pick to swallow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just puns all year long. Just puns. Puns on puns on puns. Puns on puns on puns. All right. Anything? I don't think he um, can come. I don't think he can come through the pack. Okay. Jesus. All right. Bud. Okay. Moving on Jesus to four fifties here. Justin, why don't you go first on the old four fifty class here? All right. So I'm gonna go with my all star. Um, he has Hang always on. been pretty. What? Nope. Go ahead. Can I guess your second pick? 
my second my second pick after my All Star. Can I can I guess a guy that's on your team? Can we play a uh, game? Can I do it after I pick my All Star? Sure. Yes. All right. I know he's right. on your team. Guaranteed. All right. You probably do, but uh, okay. So my All Star, uh, it was a guy that I actually picked in win a one. Eli Tomac at a four. Um, he's always been good at Oakland. Like we know the track's going to be soft. It's just the way the dirt is up in Oakland. I know, even though it hasn't, I don't think it rained there all week. Just something about that dirt, wherever they store it, whatever, we know it's going to be soft. It's probably going to hit concrete by the end of the night. I just, I think at a four, I think with him getting six in the first race, he's obviously, if he gets a start, we know he can win. Um, I just got to go with Eli Tomac at a four. And now who am I going to pick Cole? Dylan Ferrandez at a one. I can't. I picked him last week. God damn it. Oh, nice. All right. Well, I'm picking him. Me too. He's on my team. Jesus fuck. He's on my team also. I hate both of you. I fucking hate both of you. Like, with a burning fucking passion. Like, crabs. Like, I hate you that much. Don't worry. When he's on the box this week and I'm getting fucking... 50 points for him, 49, whatever the hell it is. I will oh, be thinking be so about contradictual when Justin's like on the box championship <laughs> on the box. Ooh. Hey, when he wins, I'll be like championship or bust, baby. All right, fuck both of you. Uh, so <laughs> dude, I'm real conflicted right now because I'm looking at three guys that all have zero handicaps that are not all stars, but two of them I talked mad shit about after a one, but Jesus Christ, I have a real hard time not picking them. So if I had a keyboard, I'd break it uh, because I'm going to go Jason Anderson at a zero, Adam Cincerello at a zero, and Aaron Plessinger at a zero, and fuck both of you for what you have to say, but I just I can't not do it. Ace? I can't not do it. Well, Anderson's I, you on know, my I team. I don't disagree with that. You might miss out on double points, but it's still better than a fat zero. A- a- but the thing, is, though, too, is, is yeah, but he got ninth, dude, with a terrible start. I- like. What do you mean a terrible start? He got a great start and ran third most of that and then faded to ninth. He did not have a terrible start. Eight? I thought he was outside the top ten. What no. Are you talking about? No. He was right behind Kenny and Chase and ran third for the first, like, ten minutes of that main on f- Saturday. Well, either way, if that happens again, he gets... What? Are you talking AP or AC? Adam C. Yeah, you're talking AC, bro. I'm talking about AP. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. He, Sorry. He's in Pecker. Okay, all right. He is in Pecker, bro. Look, let's not use the A and then the and then the next letter. Let's use Plessinger okay. and AC, okay? So, AC, so yes. So, I just... Man, there's other guys... Okay, so, like, there's three other guys that I could pick that I'm looking at right now, and I'm just... I'm really up and down. Like, Ryan Brees at a fucking 13. He got 22nd. But once again, it's one of those things where you just, uh, he was literally the last guy in, in the LCQ, and that just sketches me out, and it's fucking Ryan Brees. His cardio is fucking dog shit. Um, the other person that uh, we didn't even talk about uh, on the pre on, on the post show, Frederick Norton, like getting right through the heat race. Like, I understand he got 20th in the main, but I think that's pretty impressive. Like, when Cole looked at me and we were talking about Freddie when Scott was on the phone, I didn't realize he got into the heat race. Like, I didn't even think about that. Like, that's pretty fucking impressive, in my opinion. Well, that was and courtesy of Marv know, taking out Clay. Or Kane, I am sorry. as far away as possible from picking Freddie Norm. Sorry. You and me both, brother. Yeah, well, that's that's my point. And it's all handicapped. Like, I just... And my other one is Shane at a seven. He got 18th. He faded. I'm looking at it. It was very impressive. Um, but, dude, I'm, I'm going to have to go with Eli and the guys with the three zeros, man. I just... Yeah, I know one of them could shit the bed, but if they all get in the top 10 again, it's good points. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. AC, you got 11. I know, but it was A1, man, and I understand that he's not riding during the week, but you have to think that just even being out there racing, because, I don't know, Travis, when was the last time he even rode before A1? Do you know? I don't, uh, I'm just looking at I'm just looking at it going the same way, possibly a worse start, and then a guy like Brandis in front of him yeah. him back another spot. Yeah, the only thing. Uh, all right, so okay, so then try to sell me on somebody outside of AC because I got AP Anderson and Eli. Try to sell me on someone then. I'm Alex a- Martin in a fourteen. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Kate Clayson's gonna kill him again. I don't know, dude. That's the spiciest pick in this. All right, well, you want me to you want me to go with Justin Bogle to ten? You want me to go yeah, with Bogle that to ten? Spicy as fuck. Oh, also, I would pick Justin Bogle to ten. Um, you want me to go Kate Clayson at eleven? <laughs> No, I am all the way. I I don't really like that guy for some reason. No, I don't either. He's a douche. Oh, um, oh man, hold on, hold on. So, Cade's story though. Did you guys listen to Pulp this week? 
Uh, I just listened to the clip of Kiefer saying we need to get or we need to uh, have them stop shoving jet down our throats. That's about it. Well, that's a thing, too. But uh, that's a conversation for a different day. Uh, but no. So um, so I guess the new thing is like if you take someone out, you got to buy their merch. So Cade, uh, Cade went and bought some Amart merch. And then Amart like took a screenshot of the thing and put it up on Instagram and it had Cade's phone number on it. And some dude who picked Amart for fucking fantasy like saw it and called Cade and was like, Is this Cade? And he's like, Yeah, who is this? He's like, Hey man, fuck you. <laughs> he fucked up my fantasy. <laughs> and Cade's like, What? Jesus How Christ. did you get this number? And he's like, You might want to check Amart's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesus Kate fuck. like hung up on him and uh, I guess and then like the dude's like I felt bad and I like te- cause he's like I was just dicking around with him he's like so I text him thinking he'd already blocked me or whatever and I was just like hey man I'm just kidding like I was just messing with you he's like he did text me back and be like nah man all good like whatever but uh yeah <laughs> fucking hilarious dude the Amart put that I'm gonna be real honest with you Kate Cade was probably butt hurt, like actually butt hurt. He can say that he wasn't, but he just seems like the type oh, of guy yeah. that probably he got was in the field. Trying to fit in with the crowd and be like, exactly. Like, yeah, you know that motherfucker was pissed. You know he was pissed. Yeah, fuck that dude. I'm just, I don't know, man. I some of the interviews that he did when he was like the guest host and Paul this year, just like from some of the stuff I like the clips on YouTube. Some of the shit that he said, just like, dude, uh, yeah, you are literally the, smoking your own dude, ass. The shit I was gonna say, the shit about St- Stu was like way out of left field, but. Let's get back yeah. to uh, <laughs> let's get back yeah. to fantasy here, though. Cole, who do you got on your four fifty team, man? Yeah, well, I got Dylan Danger Zone at a one. Yeah. <laughs> um, fucking Danger Zone. I got a Danger Boy in the Danger Zone. Booker Shane at a seven. Okay, he got to ride a little better. Well, I mean, um, he did ride good in the heat race. So, I mean, I might switch that out. I like the zero picks as well because you know AP is going to be hovering around the top ten. Hopefully, yep. And then Anderson, we both think he's going to win. Probably, Adam, so. Adam scares me, man, because if he goes down and on the shoulder, like he's out, do you know? He would be my one guy that I would take off. He would be my one guy that I'd take off. Yeah. Um, I would slam the button on Jason Anderson if I could, but I had him as my all-star last week, so fuck me. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, who else I got? Yeah, so I got Shane Fernandez. I got Mookie as my all star to six. I just think him and Oakland vibe together. Yep. Um, wow. Wow. I don't know what. I, never mind. Oh, you want to be racist, Justin? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're going to have to. No, not, not going down that road. Anyway, I really do. I, I side with him on what he said to Marv. He's like, I could have been off on the podium, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Yeah, and then Marv is like the bag. Marv like yeah, bagels. Hey, 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 I'm with. Bags. I agree with both of them. Okay, Marv, that was I a dumb too. move, and fucking also Mookie, he was past you. Okay, like you hit his yeah. rear wheel. Yeah. You should have slowed down, asshole. So like they both you know, for were, sure. They both were right, and yeah, they they should have just kept going forward though and been on the box together. So, but. uh yeah, so I, I got Amart, which is a super spicy pick. So I'll have to see how qualifying goes. I mean, he qualified like 15. Like, that should be a shoe in You're trying to make up but, that 20 uh, points this week already, huh? You would think. And at a 14, that, that's a tough one, man. Um, And then another guy I wish I could pick again would be Max. At a 6, that's still a good pick, I think. Oh, I think so, too. And, I think Mitchell Oldenburg in an eight. That's still a good pick. Can't pick him. I can't pick him. I told you guys I could never pick Mitchell Oldenburg yeah, ever again. Yeah. Um, but Justin Vogel, what I was going to mention earlier, um, he's going to be riding with a, a little more motivation, I think. Cause, uh, I don't know if you guys seen or knew who uh, Ryan Federer. Oh, was. Ryan Federer. Yep, dude. That's yep. And I guess they were, tragic, bro. they were pretty tight, man. And he uh, ended up dying in a, a motorcycle accident, I guess. So Yeah, his girlfriend's uh, in critical condition. Really? I didn't know they were both riding then. Who, yeah, who, dude, it fucking sucks. Who who is that? Yeah, so I, I don't know who that guy is. What you Federo, so like he was like dude, he trained a lot. Like Bogle, he was one of Bogle's main trainers for a long time. He yeah, trained Bogle Wilbur title, that was his guy. Oh. Yeah, okay. dude, he's tra- like he's trained he's trained a who's who of people. Like he like yeah. If you just go look at some of the people that it, like were posting on the Instagram thing, like you know, after he had passed, like dude, it's some big names. He he was in the sport for a long time. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's a that's a tough one, and I gotta feel like sometimes that motivates some guys, and and sometimes you know, I I'm a believer in this shit. The world works in some mysterious ways sometimes, and uh, well, I, I think Bobo thinks the same night. way. So yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. So at a ten, especially, I man, I, I would pick him. I mean, he's gonna be riding with some extra motivation, and, and like I said, yep. Yeah. Sometimes weird shit happens. So that'd be cool uh, to get to see him do really well then. Yeah, because you so, know he's gonna you know he's gonna have something probably dedicated to the Federo. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So that's yep. where I'm at on my team. It's it's uh, man, I, I'll look at AP at a zero because he should be a main event guy. I'll even yep. look at Dean Wilson at a three. What did you uh, even get last week? Twelve. <laughs> Shocking. It's always like fucking ninth to twelfth. It's never. Well, that's it's never right worse. That every time. So like, I mean, yeah. you can bank on them. It's never worse. It's never better. Yeah. So, um, first to the finish line. I don't know if you guys seen the track map or not, but it's literally half a rhythm section, a set of whoops, and then the finish line. Yeah. It looks. Uh, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of options. You guys, you guys want? Yeah, to, yeah. Do I get to? Do I get to give that, my, Do I get to give my four fifty team, or we're just moving on? No, go ahead, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was honestly just gonna be done and hang up. Should I just fuck <laughs> off over here or what? I just, I just keep, just do, just pick K. Mamre to load car now. Just do it. The fucking points leader over here, and you guys are just trying to like skip right past me. Like I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, pick him, pick him, <laughs> pick him. <laughs> well, here's who I'm uh, not picking: ahead. Alex Martin at a 14. Oh God, I'm out. I'm out okay. on that. I may have Amarine on my okay. team. I'm not having Amart on my team. Is that just because you don't think he's going to make the main, or you think he's going to make the main, but then he's going to lawn dart himself into the ground? Dude, well, if he makes the main at a fourteen, like that's I think fucking he's been making awesome. Making the main, because but he's a fourteen, but making the main is the tricky part, and I think he's just such a bubble guy that, like, uh, in especially in Supercross, if this was outdoors, no problem. Like fourteen handicap, oh, yeah, you pick him every. I'm t- in. You pick him every time outdoors on a fourteen handicap. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no problem. But indoors, nah, I'm like I'm nervous. Because there's way too yeah, much, stu- there's way too much stuff like last week, like you know that could happen. So Joan Cross is going to say about that. Oh, let, me, let me give you an X factor. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Uh, Alex Martin trains at Club MX and it's a shitty ass soft track. And what do you think we're going to be dealing with in Oakland? That is true. Ruts, ruts all across the faces. Okay, that's what he rides every day. Yeah. Watch him go on like bang a fifth in practice or some shit. <laughs> Well, you know, if he does that, he's probably going to have a super high pick trend and then not make the main, and I'm going to make up even more points on everybody. And he'll yeah, like I said, B jo- practice. So if he qualifies jo- well on the shitty B practice track. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys Keep watch his... Mind. Don't shit on him too hard. Joan Cross is going to take him out. Probably. Well, All right. Damn it. Anyway, damn uh, it. so my 450 team, I got, uh, I got Mookie as my all-star at a six. Like, that dude is fast this year so top five all day if 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 revelation there if marv if marv doesn't take him out uh then i have uh your boy dylan ferrandis at a one i mean okay. like there's a okay. lot of good picks this week because there's a lot of dudes that finished outside the top 10 top eight whatever it is that are yep. now not all stars yep. Um, I yep. am on the Justin Bogle train at a 10. I like that pick. I think he's going to ride with a little more, not just because of what happened outside of the racing, but because of what happened during the racing last week. Uh, so I got yeah. him going in and at a 10, like that's awesome. Cause I feel like he's like 12th to 15th place guy easy once he gets in the main. Um, and yeah. then, and then I've got, uh, El Ombre at a zero. Uh, cause again, super fucking fast and should have been an all-star this week and is not so you got to go with that so i mean yeah dude i'm in on that he's got to have the highest pick trend dude he's gonna have the highest pick trend. there's no way oh for sure the uh dude the ac pick though that is way too spicy for me because i yeah and you know me i'm an ac homer but a little yeah, and and I think it's going to get better as we progress here. But is better like he gets a crappier start this week, and then he moves forward into say ninth, tenth, eleventh, something like that, or is it he gets yep. a good start and instead of fading to eleventh, he only fades to eighth or ninth this week? It's just with the zero handicap, it's just too. I I can't do it. I just can't do it. Now you give me another week or two here, and he's still a non all star. Then yeah, then 
it, you know, then I'm picking him all day long because well, you know, I wish Mitchell Oldenburg didn't secretly hate me because I'd pick Mitchell Oldenburg all day long. <sighs> Dude, that's another one that it's like spicy, but like I can't do that either because yeah, he dicked me last year in Indy hard. Oh, he's dicked me every year fantasy's been around. <laughs> so um okay. First to the fin- dick. Any- <laughs> it is so- a lot of dick. sounds gay. All right, anybody doing first to the finish line? Wood pack. <laughs> off the rails. Wow. Anybody doing first? Pick him. Pick him. <laughs> I got Vince Freeze and Ken Roxon. Uh, I think the Vince Freeze is a really good one, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. I can't see Kenny nailing a holy like that two weeks in a row. Like that was. I don't know. I just can't see it. You're Fifty class, man. If if uh, if Craig is anywhere near Vince Freeze and before those whoops, he'll pass him in the whoops and be first. I really hope Freeze takes Craig out. I just. I just want to see. Speaking of Freeze, yeah, and, Craig, and gonna... Craig went and. and Basically sucked his ass. And no, I know, like, yeah, bro. I don't want no problem. Which is kind of. Did you guys? Did you guys see that thing though that went over social media where they were talking about freeze in the two fifty class and it's literally just a fucking sheriff going down the highway <laughs> weaving <laughs> sides. <laughs> 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 weaving sides. The side. memes are fucking good. Oh, dude, they're great, but they're true. <laughs> Look, I, oh, he wasn't really too much of a roadblock at A one, so I will say that. Like they got, they, people got to get off his ass, man. Like, oh man, I get it, but this isn't the four fifty class, dude. Speaking of that, though, did you guys listen to the review pod on Pulp for the thing? No, did it, they talk shit about him? Oh no, no, no. So Genova is is fucking on uh, Weege JT and uh and mathis mathis yeah so he uh in fact he rolled up in a golf cart after after the race i think to like weege yep and was basically like hey you fucking numb nuts what do you think about that fifth place and i guess like he'd said something to weege like on friday and we just kind of let it roll off his back but then (laughs) weege i guess got pissed and was like you're gonna call us fucking numb nuts he got fifth place like and started going off on genova so i guess there's like this huge battle going between genova jt genova had beef and, I didn't and know he Steve. had. Is he have beef with them because they were talking shit about Vince, or is yeah. this like a prior thing that like nobody yeah. knows about? Yeah, no, it's it's about the Vince thing because it's like okay. because I guess in the priest, like he came up to him Friday and was like, "All you guys do are doing is talking shit about Vince being a fucking roadblock in the 250 class." But like last time he raced 250 class, he got third in points and blah blah blah, and he's gonna win and all this shit like that, right? And uh, yeah, yeah, so I guess it, I guess it's quite the battle between them. And like I said, I guess it pissed off Weege on Saturday when he called them numb nuts. So, oh man, this I mean, should be good. This, I mean, the winner in all of this is all of the rest of us. Because it's to be honest awesome. with you, like I can't I can't fault Genova. Like he is kind of right because like really nobody talked about Freezy in the pre shows, and everybody like dude even before A one even happened, <laughs> all they could there ta- were all this shit coming out. Yeah, everybody talked shit about him. All like, they could I talk about was Genova's- him and Phil battling each other. <laughs> And let's be honest, Phil's going to have probably a hard time even getting in the top 20 in the main. And Vince obviously just proved that, yeah, like getting a start helps. But his speed, I don't know, man. I don't really blame Genova. I don't know about the whole numb nuts thing. That's kind of fucking stupid. But I heard he might have like, been, I heard he might have been intoxicated when this happened. So I also. No, Genova <laughs> intoxicated? Yeah. Never. Well, or no, maybe it wasn't Saturday he was intoxicated when he called him numb nuts, but I guess Friday when he was going after JT about it, uh, he was kind of intoxicated, yeah. and JT was fucking pissed about him coming after him on Friday. So, oh, I'm sorry, they a little butt hurt because people fight back. Oh, that's and, uh, and the the funniest the funniest part <laughs> is is that Genova is. I'm sorry. The funniest part is, is Genova's going after all three of them, and Steve is like, "Man, this battle you guys have with Genova is awesome." And they're like, "And we just like you're part of the numb nuts, idiot." And he's like, "No, no, this is a you guys thing. <laughs> I'm over here separate." Right. And he's like, "No, he was referring to all three of us as numb nuts. So I don't know how you're not pissed about this." And Steve just kept saying, "No, I mean, no, I'm not in funny. this." So, that is funny because I would have thought that Mathis would have been like the first person to get pissed about it, but like <laughs> we just don't want to get angry. Dude, we just gets angry. Yeah, JT's pissed. It's hilarious. Oh El- my god! Like I Whatever, said, man. the, the winner. We're on a the winner in all of this is <laughs> us. Like, I gotta, right. <laughs> so go. is, is anybody Travis. picking? Is any, <laughs> look? Is anybody picking first to the finish line? 
Freeze is no, I'm out on that. I'm I'm gambling on the freeze thing, but I might pull Kenny off depending upon how his practice start looks. (laughs) You just go ahead and pick Chase Sexton. I mean, that might not be a bad pick. He was he was given the whole shot. (laughs) He was given the whole shot by the AMA last week. Cool with the AMA. I don't care. Anybody do the whole shot challenge? No, I did, but I was wrong. It doesn't. You're it doesn't right. take any points or cost any money, so you might as well do it. Worst case is you win fifty bucks to Motosport, so whatever. Yeah, yeah. All you right. Take, never mind. I'm done. Anything else before we hang up here? Uh, God, I hope you. Like I said, I hope like three of your guys don't make the main. I just really hope so. So then I score 182 like points ball. like you. I'm gonna, I don't give a fuck. I'll give you five bucks if you break your keyboard over. <laughs> On um, Emery. Look, no, my my teams are not set in stone. These co- <laughs> these are subject to change. You want to know who's set in stone? Jason Anderson, oh. Justin Bogle, Dylan Ferrandez, and Malcolm Stewart. My four. You should pick Jaron Stapleton while you're at it. My four fifty team. I broke my keyboard. My two fifty team. Yeah, that's up for debate. Kate Emery, Logan Carnell, go for it. This title's going to be one of lost Woodcock. in the two. Fi- Look, guys. All I'm saying is uh, next year, when I have that number one uh, fantasy Supercross plate hanging on the wall behind us during the show, I'm going to point to it every yeah. single show and tell you guys, hey, I, see that, I see have that a championship for you. right there? Crash and burn, I it? have a question for you. What was your what was your points again, Travis? What was my points? Two, 232? Didn't the dude who won, like who was first in our league, NDMA or whatever, didn't he score like 308? No, he got 281. Oh, well, even though he didn't score over 300. Oh, 308 was the dude who was number one in the whole entire league for everything. Yeah. So 281, yeah, he still smoked your ass. You want to know who got second place overall for everything uh, last week? A chick oh. who had no idea what the fuck was going on and was sleeping during the main. Kind of sounds like Scotty T when uh, his chick won the whole Rocky Mountain thing and won a KTM 450. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do you know that? that like they broke up and there's this gnarly divorce and, uh, over the bike? Just shocking. Scotty T getting in some trouble. Never seen that coming. Scotty P, bro. <laughs> Interesting guy. All right. Yeah. <sighs> That's an understatement. Motherfucker ran through Loretta's in a thong. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> we're done. Any anybody got anything else fantasy on, wise? Before we get off Scotty T, did you see his latest pictures on Facebook? Oh my god. The Dino pictures. Yeah, the ones that he had his chick wearing the jersey, and then the next one was him with his ass out. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so fuck. Thanks to all our sponsors uh, for shared uh, Instagram. Oh god. Okay, I'm wrapping this up. Thanks oh, to all fuck. our sponsors for coming on board. Energy Fuel, Premier Custom Trailers, TLR Ooh. Coatings, Depth Creative Co, Alias Sport, Gutterworks, uh, JT Cycle. Isaac Nelson Designs, and Clutch Media. Thank you to everyone. We will be back next week to wrap up the Oakland round. And then, are we on Anaheim too? Is that where? No, San Diego. Wrap up Oakland. Talk San Diego picks. Good luck to everyone. Remember to join the league. DM us on Instagram. And we will see everybody next week. See you.